Hi, and welcome to another episode of the How to Do Stuff with Xperio video series. My name is Erwin, and in this video I will explain how you can automatically generate a document using Xperio for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So what you would do as an end user to create a document is just to navigate to any kind of record that you want to use as a starting point for your document. So let's navigate to the quotes for instance uh, in the sales section here and then select one or more quotes. So through sales I go to the quotes and then I can select one or more of my quotes. I can start this by the way from the list view here or I can go into any specific record and start from the detail view. And then you just simply click the Experto document command in the in the command bar. This opens up the list of available Experto templates for this type of entity, organized in subfolders using template meta tags. Now, as you hover over the templates, you see that a um, preview is appearing on the right hand side. And what you do just to generate the document is to simply hit the quick generate tile, and your document will be created. There it is. These are two documents as we started with two records to start from. You can open the links here to view the documents, but documents can also be printed automatically or sent by email. They can be stored in Microsoft SharePoint or stored in CRM as an attachment to a note or an activity. But let's just open one of these links to see what we have generated. So here's the document. As you can see, it's a very simple quote. It has the address of the uh, company we sent this quote to. It also um, has some personalization here in the first line using a sample record here. That's why you see that sample between brackets. Uh, this is the list of line items, uh, the total, well, in order discount, there is no discount in this case. And some extra information, 20%, which could be given as an extra discount on certain conditions. And also has a signature and the name and the job title of the person sending it out. Okay, so now I took you back to the Create Document screen to show you some more options. What we did earlier was just simply select a template or hover over a template and use the Quick Generate tile, the blue tile here, to uh, generate the document with all of the template's default output and delivery settings. But you can also change those settings if you're authorized to as a user. Now to do that, you uh, rather than hover over a template, you really select a template like the follow-up quote in this case. And then you click next step to go to the first um, tab of settings. Now you probably noticed that an extra tab has uh, appeared here uh, as we selected the uh, follow-up quote. And this contains a number of questions and answers that will be used in the document. Like for instance, do you want to include product descriptions in your quote, yes or no? And here are some extra tags that you can enter in the uh, opening paragraph of the document. In the second step, you can set a couple of properties, like for instance the document name, you can change that to something else uh, and include extra information in it, or you can change the safe as format here from PDF to any other common document format. Okay. You can also decide on including headers and footers to your document or not, or grouping multiple records into one single document or not. In the output parameter step, which is the third and final step of uh, creating this document, you can define how to store your document and how to deliver your document. You can store it in SharePoint or you can create an activity or a note attachment and store it in CRM. Or you can uh, print it or email it out. In the end, you simply generate the document by hitting generate here. And here are the links to the generated documents. We select two, that's why we get two links. And as we click them, here they are. This is the text that we entered in the opening paragraph. And we said yes to the question, do you want to include product details? And these are the product details. Well, they're taken from CRM. These are node attachments. These are Word documents added as node attachments to products in CRM. And they're picked up and used in the document right here. So that's how you create a document using Experto for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon again.